Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to All American Pro Wrestling Collision. I'm Kevin Huntsberger, joined by AAPW executive producer and my co-host Chris Hagstrom. Kevin, thanks a lot. Um, you know, we've we've had a lot that has happened here at AAPW over the past um, you know two weeks, and uh, I want to thank the fans for staying with us and staying loyal to All American Pro Wrestling. Now, um, it has been determined that Mike Masters is no longer working for All American Pro Wrestling. We have come to terms with him. Um, what happened was inexcusable the fans at AAPW deserve more than that and we promise that we will bring you the best possible card for summer chaos as we lead into the following weeks going up to summer chaos on June 30th but Kevin we need to move forward we need to get back to business as usual because we've got a huge tag team match tag team title match that's coming up later in this episode yeah a lot of implications involved in that match as well so uh, I think without any further ado we should get right to it let's go ahead and send it to Bob Fester for our opening contest Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is scheduled for one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Referee in charge, Jake Ayers. Coming to the ring, he hails from San Diego, California. He weighs 290 pounds, David Osborne. Big David Osborne in the ring right now, and the fans here at All-American Pro Wrestling not in support of this big man as he kind of stalks around the ring waiting for his opponent. No, he's uh, definitely a very, very large man, and, um, you know, it's <laughs> look at that big bear on his chest, though. It's very, very disturbing, and, uh, you know, he's got a huge opponent that he's got to face. And his opponent. I am Milwaukee, Wisconsin, playing in a 295 pounds, Justice! The battle of the big men right here in our opening contest on All-American Pro Wrestling Collision, Justice. He's in the house. And he is in the house, and will justice be served here this afternoon or this morning on All American Pro Wrestling, Chris? Well, you know, he is a big man to face. His Mr. Dave Osborne, uh, certainly a man that uh, mammoths some opponents that justice has faced before. But remember, he was in that huge uh, contest, the five-man free for all at main event. So justice is used to facing some big guys and. Well, Justice being a big guy himself and certainly has the support of the fans. That's right. I think he can handle just about anything after that big melee that we had back in January on our main event show. What a night that was too, Chris. But uh, right now we're going to get down to business here as the referee checks out Justice. And uh, the fans here ready to go. Well, the referee is ready to get this started. Two big men about to lock up here, and we get a collar and elbow. See who is the stronger, who, and Dave Osborne forcing Justice back into the corner. Will we get a clean break, though? Oh, no, not at all. A little slap with that break. And already the jaw jacking starting, and Justice has that look of frustration on his face. I think he expected a little more from Mr. Osborne here. Well, you know, we know that Justice certainly is a man that uh, has taken on all comers here in AAPW, and he's got quite the uh, resume that he's stacked up so far, Kevin. I mean, he was in the five-man free-for-all, kind of hurt his shoulder. Uh, he was uh, not exactly um, you know, 100%, but still had a pretty good showing and a pretty good outing. And a big shot right down there by Big Dave Osborne. But, you know, Justice is a man who's been on a collision course here in Collision. He's actually faced both members of the convoy and come out on top. That's right. Uh, so Dave uh, Osborne, though, kind of getting some dirty tactics here. Uh, a knee to the midsection, and now he's taking full advantage Ooh. and has taken Justice off his feet. Yeah, he's just he's really wrenching back on that neck. And, man, you know, Big Dave Osborne is... He's already got Justice down to his knees. And he is th thunderous uh, axe handles there now to the back of the neck. And now Ooh. right across the front of the chest. That'll take the breath away pretty darn quick. The fans, though, really getting behind Justice here is Justice trying to make some kind of a comeback. But man, look at the, the size of Dave Osborne. And you know, both of them look very, very similar when it oh. comes to. Ooh, man. 
That when it comes, they're built. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, big man on top. Wait, one. Oh, only man. a one count there. You know, when, when somebody that big is, is hammering away on you as well, it doesn't matter how, how big you are, it's going to hurt. And there was a knee thundering down. Watch out, though. Two count that time. Justice only was two. able to kick out. Osborne might have hooked the leg and taken more advantage here. He's starting to wrench that neck and rolls right into another pin, but has him kind of locked up here, interestingly, too. Yeah, look at that submission maneuver. It's some kind of a modified uh, uh, chin lock, but reversed into the front. And definitely, it's a very thick neck that Justice has to try to cut the wind off of. But again, now, look at Big Osborne. He, Big Dave Osborne, he's going right to the neck. He's trying to keep the, uh, the blood, if you will, from circulating and kind of take the breath away and keep Justice grounded. That's right, and Justice has been grounded for pretty much for all intents and purposes, all this match because we really saw just a couple of quick moves from Justice at the beginning, and now after that knee, uh, well-placed knee, I guess, in the case of Dave Osborne, but Justice mounting a comeback now. Oh, and a nice placed elbow right under the jaw there. Here comes Justice. Oh, thundering forearm right to the back of Dave Osborne. Ooh. Referee getting on to him for those punches now. Well, Justice, I think, has had enough a little bit. He's been, you know, grounded this entire match, and now he's trying to get a little retribution for himself. I think so, and a reversal. Oh. Justice ducks that axe handle. Oh! Big shoulder tackle. shoulder tackle. And a close oh. line to follow it. Watch out! Man! Big boot. Justice is rolling now. That he is. What is he going to set up for here, Kevin? He's got that fin uh, fist clenched. Watch out! Oh, beautiful Puts maneuver. Down. Is that enough, One, though? Does two, three, he got him. The winner by pinfall, Justice. Justice coming out on top here at All-American Pro Wrestling Collision in our opening contest. And he uh, really took it to Dave Osborne. Dave Osborne, though, was showing him a lot as well. Dave Osborne did impress me. He took Justice out early in the early goings, but Justice came back and came back big, and the fans here love it at the Black Diamond Harley Davidson Warehouse. A, a great fit with Justice. Well, certainly a great opening contest, but Kevin, in our main event today, it is for the AAPW Tag Team Titles. It's going to be Team Triple X taking on Team Overkill. That match comes your way later on in Collision. Come out and see the biggest wrestling event of the summer on Saturday, June 30th. It's Summer Chaos, live at the Black Diamond Harley-Davidson Warehouse. Doors open up at 5.30 p.m. with a special bell time of 6.45 p.m. See former WWE Tough Enough competitor and an international wrestling superstar, M-Dog 20, Matt Cross, and the handicapped hero, Gregory Iron, who overcame the odds and continues to wrestle despite having cerebral palsy. Plus, rising pro wrestling superstar and Southern Illinois native Keith Hatton takes on the old school warrior Axe Allwart and women's wrestling returns as Serenity makes her debut against the great Cheyenne. Tickets are just $12 for ringside, $10 for adults, and $8 for kids 12 and under. For more information on all of our upcoming events and to purchase tickets, visit aapwrestling.com. Join us Saturday, June 30th for Summer Chaos, the biggest wrestling event of the summer. Black Diamond Junction, what's your function? Hooking up people with parts close and bites. Black Diamond Junction, how's that function? We trade for anything and always treat you right. 
Black Diamond Junction, oh, what's your function? Putting a Harley Davidson in every garage. Black Diamond Harley Davidson has the largest selection in the Midwest. Black Diamond Harley Davidson, Williamson County Parkway in Marion. Come join the party. Wrestling fans, if you're looking for extensive coverage of all things professional wrestling, look no further than the Wrestling Press. A proud sponsor of All American Pro Wrestling, the Wrestling Press covers the industry in the United States, Europe, and elsewhere across the globe. From reviews and news to commentary and show recaps, the Wrestling Press has all your professional wrestling needs covered. Find them online at thewrestlingpress.com. Time is running out to own a piece of AEPW history. AEPW main event is now available on DVD and quantities are limited. Order your copy now at AAPWrestling.com for only $15 and relive the biggest night in company history. See Edmund Livewire McGuire battle old school warrior, Axe Allward. Keith Hatton settle his score with golden boy Greg Anthony. And special guest appearances by international superstars Colt Cabana, Pac, El Generico, and Matt Cross. This is a once in a lifetime event. And this may be your last chance to own a piece of this history on DVD. Order your copy of AAPW Main Event today for only $15 at AAPWrestling.com. Real burgers don't have silly nicknames. They don't sit under heat lamps. And they don't cost 99 cents. Made with premium black Angus beef, topped with the freshest ingredients and always grilled to perfection. That's a real burger. And there's only one place to find it. Backyard Burgers. AAPW Collision is brought to you by Black Diamond Harley Davidson located on the Williamson County Parkway in Marion. For more information on their inventory, merchandise, and upcoming events, visit them online at blackdiamondhd.com. Black Diamond Harley Davidson, come join the party. Ladies and gentlemen, currently in the ring, at a combined weight of 340 pounds, Zack Sawyer and Dalton Diamond. Kevin, these guys have certainly a tall task ahead of them. That's right, Chris. They will be taking on Minor Threat, a tag team that is quickly uh, getting established here in All-American Pro Wrestling. Making their way to the ring at a combined weight of 375 pounds, Brandon Espinoza, Jay Hawkins, they are minor threat. Ace Hawkins and Brandon Espinoza, the fans love these two. They are cheering and they are minor threat, but Chris really not much of a minor threat in my view. These guys are really a well oiled machine. They are a cohesive tag team. That they are, and as you know, uh, Brandon Espinosa, Ace Hawkins, they went to the toe to toe with Team Triple X in our second episode of AAPW Collision this season. They went to a time limit draw, and those guys put out a heck of a showing and a heck of a contest. That's right. Oh, well, wait a minute, though. Dalton Diamond just got thrown right in the ring. <laughs> Zach Sawyer kind of throwing him into the wolves, so to speak. And Brandon Espinoza and Dalton Diamond will lock up here. Dalton Diamond goes down quickly here. One knee, but he's back up as Brandon Espinoza puts the arm lock on him, twisting that elbow and wrist. Ow. Oh, well, no, you know we've the forearm. You know, we've seen Dalton Diamond and Zach Sawyer before as a tag team, as they try to take on Bolt Bronson to no avail. Now we get a tag and oh, nice snap suplex! And Watch out! Oh, off the top rope, elbow right into the heart. One, two, not wow. enough though. So close right, on a you know some fast tag team action by Minor Threat. That's right. They will. Uh, Hit you more ways than you know before you even know what's happened. And a big scoop slam. And Dalton Diamond, not a little guy here. Brandon Espinoza. Oh, oh. man. Nicely done. Can he hook the leg and get the pin? One, two. No, not enough. 
No, they're going to have to keep trying some more. Dalton Timon taking all the punishment here. Look at this quick tag, though, action. This quick tag action by Minor Threat. As you said, nothing but a Minor Threat. These guys oh. are on fire. And they've cut that ring off, too, keeping Dalton One, Diamond on their two. side. Sorry, Kevin, a two count on. No, that's fine. Got to give it to Dalton Diamond, though. He has taken some pretty intense blows. Oh! Zach Sawyer now with a spear takes Ace Hawkins off his game, and now the double team. Uh, double team tactics are all that you know was able to change the tide very quickly as Zach Sawyer dove, dove right through the ropes and yeah. changed the tide. Onto Hawkins of this match. Is that going to be enough? No. It is not a kick out here. And now, oh, oh, to the here? boot and oh. a boot right to the face of Ace Hawkins as he goes down once again and Dalton Diamond back into this matchup as well. Ooh, Ace is fighting back as, as best he can. He's doing the best that he can right now and he's rolling, well, trying to get some offense rolling here. Reversal though. Watch out! Oh! oh. High knee to the face. Oh. Inverted atomic drop. Wait a minute! Oh, nice neck breaker. Is that enough? One, two! No. Espinoza knows his partner was in trouble there, came in to help him out. Another good sign of tag team wrestling and cohesiveness of this unit. Oh! Hawkins comes back in a double boot into the face of Dalton Diamond. As Hawkins trying to get to his tag team partner, there he does! And he does. Oh! Man, stiff clotheslines by Brandon Espinoza. He's rolling. Throw some elbows and a kick there right to the face of Zach Sawyer. Oh! Nice clothesline. Well, they got planned here. Watch out, Dalton Diamond. Oh! What a maneuver! Neck breaker into a splash. Watch out. Going for the comb over, maybe? Oh! Comb over by a drop kick. That's got to be a one, two, three, sayonara. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners, Brandon Espinosa, Ace Hawkins, Minor threat. Well, Kevin, an impressive victory for these guys, and I'm going to go have a little talk with them. All right, Chris. Minor threat showing that they are indeed not a minor threat here in All-American Pro Wrestling. A great victory here over Zach Sawyer and Dolph Diamond. My colleague Chris Hagsman joins this impressive tag team of minor threat in the ring now. Brandon Espinosa, Ace Hawkins, you guys with a heck of a victory, a fast-paced victory. And I've got to ask you guys, after a really fast-paced victory like that, what's next? What's in store for Minor Threat? Well, you see, the fact of the matter is, is that there's two guys walking around with the Tag Team Championship. Matt Cage, Christian Rose, Team Overkill, whatever you want to call them. You know, there's an exaggeration to their name, just like there's an under-exaggeration to Minor Threat. They are not Team Overkill, and you, as you can see right here, we're not just a minor threat. We're a major threat here. You see Ace Hawkins, Brandon Espinosa, we're coming for the gold, and it just makes sense that Team Overkill spelled as T-O-K, because just like on a clock, their time as champions are going tick-tock, tick-tock. Here on June 30th at Summer Chaos, we will be your new AAPW Tag Team Champions. Ladies and gentlemen, Minor Threat has put the challenge out there. It's Summer Chaos. We'll find out. The number one contender is taking on the champions. Who will they be? We'll find out coming up today on Collision. Hello, Mada. Hello, Fada. Here I am at Black Diamond Harley. The place is very entertaining. They have fun here and they get a little zany. Want a sportster? Want a diner? You can find them at Black Diamond. They take crazy things as trade-ins. Black Diamond Harley, take me there. Running into the 15 to the pin, he's gonna score. Untouched, it's a touchdown. Oh my. 
All-American Pro Wrestling would like to thank Soundcore Music and Video in Carbondale for providing the stage equipment and lights for AAPW Collision. Soundcore sells new and used instruments and equipment, plus they sell all the accessories you might need. Soundcore is also an authorized Apple reseller and Southern Illinois' premier video production house. Visit Soundcore Music just across the street from the Carbondale Chamber of Commerce on Illinois Avenue or online at soundcoremusic.com. Do you want your voice to be heard? Reach out to AAPW officials on social media and voice your opinion about all things AAPW. Our social media outlets are also the best way to stay on top of all the latest news and announcements. If you're on Twitter, follow us at AAP Wrestling. If you're on Facebook, like our Facebook at AAP Wrestling. And for the latest video updates and past episodes, visit us on YouTube at AAPW Collision or on Vimeo at VimeoPro.com slash AAPW slash Collision. All-American Pro Wrestling. Get into it. Make the Country Inn and Suites of Marion your personal getaway. Located just off I-57 and minutes from the Williamson County Regional Airport, the Country Inn and Suites of Marion offers a convenient location for business and leisure travelers, as well as excellent amenities. Hotel accommodations include a heated indoor pool, fitness center, high-speed internet access, and a complimentary breakfast. For reservations, call 618 997 2444. The Country Inn and Suites of Marion is a proud supporter of All American Pro Wrestling. Time is running out to own a piece of AAPW history. AAPW main event is now available on DVD and quantities are limited. Order your copy now at AAPWrestling.com for only $15 and relive the biggest night in company history. See Edmund Livewire McGuire battle Old School Warrior, X Allward. Keith Hatton settle his score with Golden Boy Greg Anthony. And special guest appearances by international superstars Colt Cabana, Pac, El Generico, and Matt Cross. This is a once in a lifetime event. And this may be your last chance to own a piece of this history on DVD. Order your copy of AAPW Main Event today for only $15 at AAPWrestling.com. Come out and see the biggest wrestling event of the summer on Saturday, June 30th. It's Summer Chaos, live at the Black Diamond Harley-Davidson Warehouse. Doors open up at 5.30 p.m. with a special bell time of 6.45 p.m. See former WWE Tough Enough competitor and an international wrestling superstar, M-Dog 20, Matt Cross, and the handicapped hero, Gregory Iron, who overcame the odds and continues to wrestle despite having cerebral palsy. Plus, rising pro wrestling superstar and Southern Illinois native Keith Hatton takes on the old school warrior Axe Allwert and women's wrestling returns as Serenity makes her debut against the great Cheyenne. Tickets are just $12 for ringside, $10 for adults, and $8 for kids 12 and under. For more information on all of our upcoming events and to purchase tickets, visit aapwrestling.com. Join us Saturday, June 30th for Summer Chaos, the biggest wrestling event of the summer. This contest is set for one fall with a 15-minute time limit. Accompanied to the ring by Gaylord Stevens from Willisville, Illinois, he weighs 235 pounds, the old school warrior, Axe Allward! Axe Allward has certainly got a bone to pick with Farmer Billy Hills as Farmer had the victory over him a few weeks ago here on Collision. That's right, and uh, manager Gaylord Stevens already given the referee the, uh, the talking to. And his opponent. From that lick, Kentucky, weighing 295 pounds, Farmer Billy Hill. And speaking of Mudlick, Kentucky, I have visited Mudlick and spent some time with Farmer on his farm there. A great day, a great time. Had some highs and lows there, as folks have seen on All Access, but. You know, Farmer likes to have fun, but he also knows when it's time to get down to business. And right now, this match today here on AAPW Collision is a time to get down to business and take things seriously. Axe Allworth, though, has something to prove here. Well, what's going on, Chris? I, I don't know. Let's keep having music.
Oh, oh wait, wait, wait a second here. Wait, what's come going on, what's on? going on? What? I, all of a sudden, the Heath Hatton's music hit. Heath Hatton didn't come out, and now all of a sudden we've got just a heck of a fight going on right now. That's right, chaos coming a little early. Summer chaos, of course, coming up in June. But right now, Axe Allworth hammering away on Farmer Billy Hills, kind of taking a cheap shot there as well. Farmer, though, with the reversal on Axe. Big back body drop, and Axe Allworth may have regretted jumping the Farmer before the match here. And there goes Axe Allward over the top rope via a clothesline by Farmer Billy Hills. Gaylord Stevens not exactly sure what to think or do here. Well, you know what? It all started when Heath Hatton's music hit. Axe Allward tried to get this match started quickly, but all of a sudden the tide turned and maybe... Oh, no. Watch Double out! Oh. And, and there goes the headband. The hard way. Yeah, wow. Well, I don't know where Heath Hatton is, but maybe he's getting into his head again. Must be. Oh! There's that big... Big fist, several of them. We've seen Farmer do this. They're risking a double count oh. here though right now as the action has spilled out onto the arena floor here at Black Diamond Harley Davidson. Axe Allward though is trying to mount a comeback, but Farmer, he's got a fire lit under him. That's right, he absolutely does. And Chris, we should mention that Axe Allward and Heath Hatton Ooh. are signed, sealed, and delivered June 30th at Summer Chaos. They'll meet here again. That's absolutely right, and maybe that's Heath Hatton's way of just trying to get into his head, and actually we're being joined by, by Heath Hatton right now. All right, Heath Hatton, one half former tag team champion here, joins us on the commentary team. Heath, what brings you out here? Well, I want to come out here and get a quick look at uh, an ax and uh, hopefully watch uh, Farmer take care of business and uh, get ax out. That's right, you uh, kind of helped Farmer distracted ax all worth the last time these two met. Trying to get into his head, though, playing the music and maybe being out here, huh, Heath? Well, you know, I just know um, exactly how Axe works, how uh, he likes to cheat to get his own victory. Uh, he's got Gaylord in his corner. I mean, obviously, thanks to two is greater than one, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I do know what you're saying. Axe all work. Oh, wow. Farmer. Farmer came out, like, charged out really quick there. Clothesline Axe took him down, and there's another one for him. I really like Farmer, guys. He's such a great wrestler. Axe is in trouble. Yeah, he absolutely is. There's a third one. Another big clothesline and a hook in the leg. That yeah. might have do it. He is able to kick out. Heath, how are you preparing for Axe? I know you're out here kind of watching right now. How do you prepare for somebody with the old school tactics and with somebody like Gaylord Stevens in his corner? The, the hard problem to me is not preparing for Axe. I feel like in a one-on-one -on -one battle, um, Heath Hatton is better than Axe Hall. But I feel like is Heath Hatton better than Axe Allworth and Gaylord Stevens? Um, that's that's just a big card. I mean, Edmund had his hands full in season one against Axe Allward. So, that's right. I mean, it's uh, it's an up, it, up, it go either way. Yeah, you gotta always factor in Gaylord Stevens. You never know what he's gonna do as Axe Allward now taking control of this matchup one more time. Oh wow! Big forearm there. Now he's standing on the throat, choking out the farmer. See, that's exactly what he does. There's no way to prepare for somebody who cheats to do anything to win. That's right. He does employ that anything uh, I, I got to do to pick up a win, I'll do it. And it's proven successful as he was a former number one contender to the AAPW Heavyweight Championship. And now he's calling for the fist drop. Oh, and that is why he is old school right that, there. That could be it right there. Oh, oh. So yes, exactly. I mean, he could have went for the pin, possibly got a win, and he does that. Assaulting the farmer now. Referee getting onto his case about it, too. But listen to this crowd. They are definitely, they're a farmer's crowd. They are definitely behind farmer. 100%. Absolutely. Now a choke onto the second rope there as farmer fights back, tries to. Back up on his feet after three elbows right to the midsection. And there's a couple of forearms. And Axe Allward getting kind of twisted up in the ropes now. Axe is in trouble. Just when you think he's in trouble, he, he knows, knows something out, though. He knows every trick in the book, exactly. He knows every trick. That's right, and here he comes. Oh! Farmer Billy Hills draped over that middle rope. I really, Gaylord walking around that umbrella, I really thought he was going to choke him there for a bit. Yeah, you never know for sure with that. Uh, he says it's a prescribed glove that he wears there on his right hand. And what's he doing now? Getting a bottle of water or something. Oh, he's beating him too bad, Gaylord says. Uh, 
Not a good idea, guys. Not a good idea. See, Gaylord all. should not be up Oh! See, he serves him right. Well, this should cool be boy. it. boy. Two. Not enough. As Axe Allward kicks out, Gaylord Stevens got spit on. And the farmer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Nice oh, neck breaker. Breaker. This is it, guys. Listen to this crowd, Kevin. They absolutely love the Farmer, as many of us do. Farmer, though, going outside and up, perhaps. Beating on that top He's turnbuckle. He's taking too much time. He's taking too much time. You can't give somebody like Axe this much time. Yeah, Axe is back up on his feet now, and Farmer in a very precarious position on that top rope, resting, but I have a feeling he's not going to be up there for very long. Uh, she should have been on him sooner, guys. Uh-oh. Is he going for a superplex here? No, not at all. Farmer fights it. Knows what may be coming. But Axe not going down, and he's fighting. Man, fist oh, of fury here. Wait, I haven't seen Axe this way in a long time. He is fired up as well. He's bitter about that loss, I think, to Farmer a couple weeks ago, a few weeks back on Collision. Uh -oh. As Axe is going for it again. What do we got here, guys? Oh. This is not. This oh, could my break goodness. the ring. This oh, could my break God. The ring. Oh. Farmer comes crashing down to the mat here. Oh, God. Two, three. That's oh. it, man. Keith Hatton, that's something you're going to have to look out for. I've never seen Axe use the superplex before. And, and ladies and gentlemen, your winner by pinfall. The old school warrior, Axe Allward! I hate that. Wow. I hate that. You're going to have to watch out for that because two men basically beat one man here today on collision. I'm definitely going to have my hands full, guys. I haven't seen Axe this motivated in a long time. Yeah, he is absolutely motivated. He's at, he has you on June 30th to contend with those summer chaos right here at Black Diamond Harley Davidson. Every wrestler, every great wrestler at that, suffers uh, what we like to be calling setbacks. They suffer defeats, embarrassing ones. And both of us are in that position as... I have recently suffered a embarrassing, horrifyingly embarrassing loss to Jay Spade in the No Limits tournament, and you to young Joseph O'Reilly. We, we suffered a setback as individuals, but we're going to heal as a team, or we're going to crumble. Inch by inch. Move by move, kick by kick, punch by punch. On this team, we fight for that inch. On this team, we tear ourselves and every team around us to pieces for that inch. We claw with our fingernails and bite with our teeth for that inch. But we know, we know, that when we add up all those inches, that's going to make the difference between winning and losing. Between champions and challengers. Between success and and failure between living and dying so team overkill and team triple x when we clash tonight we're gonna find out just what those inches mean shoot them up shoot them down kill, kill them all, all. Wrestling fans, if you're looking for extensive coverage of all things professional wrestling, look no further than the Wrestling Press. A proud sponsor of All American Pro Wrestling, the Wrestling Press covers the industry in the United States, Europe, and elsewhere across the globe. From reviews and news to commentary and show recaps, the Wrestling Press has all your professional wrestling needs covered. 
Find them online at thewrestlingpress.com. Real burgers don't have silly nicknames. They don't sit under heat lamps. And they don't cost 99 cents. Made with premium black Angus beef, topped with the freshest ingredients, and always grilled to perfection. That's a real burger. And there's only one place to find it. Backyard Burgers. Here are the events coming up at the Pavilion of the City of Marion. For more information, call 618-993-2657 or visit thepavilionevents.com. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is set for one fall with a 30-minute time limit. It is for the AAPW Tag Team Championship. Your referee for this contest, Mr. Brandon Toll. First, introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 313 pounds. Jay Spade and Joey O'Reilly, Team Triple X. Team Triple X are definitely the fan favorites here. The fans love them as they make their way around the ring. And this is going to be a great contest as they have uh, toiled in the tag team division, not only here at AAPW, but all over the Midwest. And you know, the thing about Team Triple X, Kevin, is they have singles victories over the tag team champions in no limits action. So these guys have earned the right to face the champions for those titles. That's right, they took on uh, both those men and both the tag team champions in individual matches. <laughs> Fans love them though, that is for And intro introducing the champion. At a combined weight of 425 pounds, Matt Cage and Christian Rowe, Team Overkill! Overkill, Team Overkill has been, have been your tag team champions for several months now, Chris, beating Heath Hatton in basically what ended up being a handicap match back in January on All-American Pro Wrestling Collision. And these guys are ready to defend. They are uh, fighting champions. This is gonna be a great contest. You're absolutely right, Kevin. I mean, these guys have been defending their titles throughout AAPW. We had to coax them a little bit. They weren't here for main event, but they say they're in high demand. You can't blame them, though, with guys that have an amazing, amazing technical style. They've held on tag team titles throughout the Midwest. And right now, they are the current AAPW Tag Team Champions. And they are a dominant tag team, but let's be honest. Jay Spade and Joey O'Reilly have singles victories over these two. So at this point, if you look at it from a win-win column or a win-lose column, Team Triple X has the advantage of this. And I think that's where it gets into the mind games, too. Uh, team Triple X definitely has the number, and I think they've gotten uh, the eye riled up for team overkill here and uh, we should point out too Chris that this is the first time that team triple uh, X has had a tag team title match since October of 2010 so almost two years ago the last time they got a tag team title match back then it was Axe Allworth and Steven Davis as our AAPW tag team champions the titles though now in possession of team overkill Matt Cage and Christian Rose Brandon Toll holding those tag team titles up Beautiful belts, by the way. New tag team titles, new tag team champions. This will be a great, great uh, rebirth for the tag team division. As we're getting set here for our tag team contest, Brandon Toll checking on both men. And here we go. This is our main event, and uh, Joey O'Reilly and uh, Matt Cage going to start things off here. 
Well, you know, one of the things that we saw, we saw Jay Spade versus Matt Cage. We saw Christian Rose versus Joy O'Reilly. Both members of Team Triple X coming out on top in that in those matches. So now we're going to see a reversal here as Joey O'Reilly is going to start off against Matt Cage and maybe a little tactical strategy on Team Overkill's part. That's right, a uh, side headlock by Matt Cage takes an early advantage on Joey O'Reilly. Joey O'Reilly trying to get now out of the... Oh! That's nice a takedown, up. yeah. Matt Cage applies a headlock. You know, Kevin, something else that we also should mention Episode two, we saw minor threat against Team Triple X. Should Team Triple X, Team Triple X win the tag team titles today, we could see a rematch of that amazing 10 minute title of the draw match. That's right, a, a great technical contest there. I think you're gonna get a great technical contest here today with this match as well. And now a front face lock by Joey O'Reilly, though a quick reversal and turned into an arm bar. And Matt Cage takes control once again. And they're going to keep things slow to start off here. I think a lot of quick maneuvers going on, but slowing the pace down. Well, you know, one of the things that we know about Team Overkill and Team Triple X is they both can be fast paced. They need to break up their styles, though, because Team Triple X, I'm sure, has been looking at film. It's a great reversal by Joey. They've been looking at film, and Matt Cage has got to take a little break. Yeah, Matt Cage calling for. Uh, a break from the action as Christian Rose checks on him. Oh, he's checking on his arm. He's trying to, to, to rub it. Oh, whoa. He's trying to scare one of our fans. I'm not sure if he actually did. <laughs> well, you know, Matt Cage has done everything that he possibly can to get under the eye of these fans because he doesn't respect the fans. Team Overkill does not respect the fans of AAPW. Not at all, and not a whole lot of uh, respect going Ooh. on in the ring either. There was a kick to the, to the midsection. And now a nice knife edge chop right across the chest to Joey O'Reilly. And, and you got to look at these guys, for, especially Joey O'Reilly and Jay Spade. From their matches in season one, now into season two, they've been getting in shape. They've been preparing for, oh, great job by Matt Cage. But they've been preparing for this, Kevin. They have been, Chris. And oh, nice. Hurricane Rock. Watch and out. No, big back body drop. Goes for the pin. One, two. Early on. A little too close for comfort. As Joey O'Reilly is going to back off as Christian Rose now getting in. And here comes Jay Spade. The fans love Jay Spade, Kevin. Yeah, they do, but Christian Rose doesn't seem to have much of a care for him as he kind of scoffs when he tagged it, uh, was tagged into this contest. Yeah, we should mention, though, that Jay Spade is well-liked by the fans because he, it seems like he's an underdog most of the time. But he hasn't won a match, Kevin, by pinfall or submission. He won a match against Matt Cage just a couple weeks ago. But Jay Spade has not won a match by pinfall or submission. That's right. He has advanced, though, in our No Limits Tournament and uh, has his tag team title opportunity now. And it's going to be a great Great opportunity for Team Triple X for sure. As oh, team, oh ooh. Jay Spade though. Christian Rose posed for the fans and then got caught up there. Jay Spade taking quick advantage and moves it into a side headlock. Give credit to Jay Spade. He's trying to keep the taller Christian Rose grounded. And Jay Spade used to being the underdog. Oh! Although in there with guys more in his size range, at least uh, weight range, uh, of course he's been in there with the monsters. Uh, guys like uh, Big Bull Bronson and uh, Carnage, but right now he's in there with Team Overkill and tag team competition here is great in All-American Pro Wrestling, Chris. Reversal into the ropes, ducks the clothesline. Jay Spade though, oh. Oh, tried it. he tried it. Look at that, Christian Rose blocks it. Wait a minute, watch out. Doesn't care though. No. They got him down. Man, Jay Spade is resilient, Kevin. He absolutely is. He uh, had to come up with a new plan there briefly as Christian Rose put the kibosh on. And now a tag made in here is Team Triple X. Watch out. Boom. Right to the arm, the left arm of Christian Rose. Yeah, they're going to work on Christian Rose's arm right now, it appears. Good idea to take one of those body parts and kind of dissect it and pick it apart. Got to keep him on their side of the ring, too. They've been doing a good job of that so far. Is he is he biting him? I think he is. Ooh, 
he's stomping on the hand now. That's one way to get out of it, a bite and then a stomp. It's not a very legal way. Not at all, and there's another stomp. Right to the hand of Joey O'Reilly. You know, Joey uses that left hand a lot, uh, especially when he has to balance himself with some of his uh, aerial assault. Absolutely. So, uh, ooh, a good way to target but a boot to the head by Christian Rosen. Oh! Right to the turnbuckle. Joey O'Reilly now on the second row, giving that. Oh! oh! Man, that'll loosen a tooth or two. One, Looks two. Like. And Cage knew it too, that that might have ended it at all. He was ready to interfere if he needed to. We have a tag and Jay Spade back into this contest as well. Spade now again, just that arm wrench. He's just really trying to lock the arm of Christian Rose. And man, ferocious elbow to the head. We will soon know Ooh. which of these two tag teams will be facing minor threat at All-American Pro uh. Wrestling Summer Chaos. It's just a few weeks away on June 30th. Man, Joey O'Reilly and Jay Spade there are two tough competitors, but Jay is really taking a beating. He's used to taking a beating there, Kevin. Yeah, he can take a oh! licking and keep on ticking as there was a drop kick. Drop toe hold. And now a quick tag though, again, got to get the fresh man in. Great job by Jay Spade! Oh, nice. And that's what they're going to have to do, keep it in and out, get it out. Oh, it's the Guri. And we saw this, several of these moves when O'Reilly beat Rose. We've seen this in the No Limits two. Tournament. Watch this. Nice. Oh. Looks the leg. That could be it. No, Matt Cage. And you got to love Matt Cage. He knows exactly when to get in there and help his partner out, keeping an eye on this match. And Ooh. A stiff shot right to Christian Rose. And, you know, you got to, yeah, you got to like Matt Cage for his resiliency. Man, some of his tactics you can't be very fair with. Very intense. Taking off that top turnbuckle. Yeah, it's such a hard matchup. The turnbuckle pad fell off. That's right. They are going at it toe-to-toe -to -toe here as oh, Christian yeah. Rose catches Jay Spade in midair. Watch out. Now what has he got planned here? Watch out. Oh, there's tag a tag. Made. Rolls him through, though. Jay Spade is referee not counting it because oh. Jay Spade, or uh, I'm sorry, Christian Rose, not the legal man anymore. Matt Cage oh. is in. Wow. See that? Oh. And that was a dirty move by Christian Rose. One, two, man. kicked out. I don't know, how did he kick out of that? Not enough, but man. Some dirty, underhanded tactics there by Christian Rose. Oh! oh. And Cage and Rose are a fire lit under them. Joey trying to get back in here, though. You got to get your partner, though, man. You got to get back. Giving free is distracted, and that's not helping Jay Spade at all. No. Not at all, as the fight continues. Oh, Jay's just taking a beating here, Kevin. Shoulder blocks right to the abdomen. This is exactly, though, what the champs oh. are good at. That's exactly what they need to do. Quick tags, keep their man in their corner, and just be unmerciful and exercise that five count to the best of their advantage, and they're doing it right now. Oh! I don't know how many shots Jay has taken to the up. head. Yeah. One, two. Might have hooked the leg there and gotten the three count. I hope Jay won't wonder if he knows where he is. He's taking so many shots right to the head. You can hear those shots ringing. And a front face lock now. Referee should also maybe get in there and make sure that this isn't turning into a chokehold. Christian Rose would not be above that. Well, it looks like though Jay's trying to get back onto his feet here with the taller Christian Rose though. Applying some force. Oh, jawbreaker by Jay. Shot to Cage. Over to Rose. Got to do what he's got to do. Oh, man. So he gets scooped up here. Oh, whoa. whoa. Oh, Suplex. Wow. Beautifully executed here. The power of Christian Rose. Look how long he's got it. Wait a minute, though. Small package up. New One, champion. Two. No. Oh, he reversed it again. Man, the strength of Christian Rose here. Holding him up. That blood is rushing to the head of Jay Spade now. Oh It'll make gosh. him lightheaded for sure. And look he, at this. He's Doing pressing him. Presses. Oh! Impressive. And Jay Spade comes crashing down on his back. That's got to hurt Chris. And hooks the leg One, this time. That's got to be two. it. Oh, man. Two. Oh, man. Two. Jay's back has got to be killing him. We saw the beating he took a couple weeks ago at the hands of Matt Cage. 
And that back cannot be at 100%. Not at all, and the fans are chanting for Jay Spade. Tag in now to Christian Rose. These guys are doing it right. Look at this. What has it got him here? Oh! oh! Defenseless as he was flung right into those turnbuckles. But you see how his neck snapped back. Yeah. Kind of. Almost a whiplash-like effect there. And now, again, Joey O'Reilly not helping his partner out at all. He's choking him, though. Like, yeah. Look at his foot. His foot is right there on the neck of Jay Spade. Matt Cage taking full advantage of the referee being distracted by Joey O'Reilly unintentionally, no less. Jake has got to get a tag here. I don't know how much longer he can survive this onslaught. Not at all, Chris. And he's fighting back. He's getting close to his corner. Going to whip Matt Cage now, but it's a reversal. Spade. Oh! there on his face. Man. That sound just rang throughout the Black Diamond Harley Davidson warehouse, but he got cover one, two, the champions can retain, no. I think fans on the parkway heard that one as there's a chin lock now. Jay Spade looks to be out of it. Look at, look at the power that Cage is putting behind this lock though. Absolutely, he's keeping his weight on the back and neck of Jay Spade and, you know, smirking knows that he's got the advantage here and he's taking full advantage of it right now Chris I don't believe I don't believe the veracity the oh the, the heart and desire of Jay Spade now Joey O'Reilly a shot to Matt Cage try to drop kick oh. no oh Cage reverses it slingshot watch out oh oh, oh and there is on. Christian Rose again referee really needs to keep an eye on these two well give credit to Matt Cage for he moved Jay back into his corner to allow Christian Rose to apply that extra shot. That's why they are the tag team champions. These guys have gone through the money-making jam, boys. And now, one, two. Oh, man. They are showing Team Triple X what they're all about. And they've really changed the tide of this matchup, turned it back uh, into their favor. And again, Cage calling for a tag. They're keeping the quick tags in and out. The fresh guy. Gets back in there. Uh, the referee was checking on Jay Spade. I wasn't sure the referee was allowed oh. to continue. Look at this. Oh, my. Look at this. What has he got here? Wait a minute. No. Wait, over oh. Into a spear to Christian Rose. And here comes Jay Spade. There's the, the tag. Time just changed here once again, Chris. Oh, Joe O'Reilly, big drop kick for both members of this tag team. Watch out here. Spinning out low. O'Reilly. Kind of hang time in the air there. What has he got here? Oh! oh! Nicely done. You see that? Absolutely. Joey, the fresh man, though, he's trying to get Cage up. What Stalking has he got planned? The champs. Watch out. Oh! oh! DDT. A from, flying DDT. From the apron to the ring, he planted him. And now Joey. Oh! That's got to be it. Apply the. T oh, wait with him, Christian Rose. Into the ring. Oh! oh. Cage lost his gum. I was going to say, was that a tooth or a gum? Luckily, it was just gum. Nice. Oh! That's got to be all two champions. Be One, two. Oh. That Holy. was impressive, Chris. He Referee had both of them slid pinned. into position there. Had he been a second earlier, I think we might have had new champs. As O'Reilly now on the top rope here. Watch out. Oh, lands on his feet. Oh! Big boot by Christian Rose. Oh. Cage, though, going to apply the cover. That's gotta be it. One, two, he kicked out, he kicked out. He didn't hook the leg. He did not hook the leg. Joey O'Reilly and Jay Spade want these tag team titles so bad, Chris. They've got, they've got these hearts, unbelievable determination, the ferocity, the intensity of these tag teams is unbelievable, but there was a tag, I think. I believe there was a tag made to Jay Spade. Oh! The champs are discombobulated for sure. Wait a minute. This could be it! He's getting him set up for here. Swan time! Oh. Swan time, that's it! One, two! Hooks the back, but Christian Rose with the save. Oh! oh. Joey O'Reilly kicked right in the face. He's out on the arena floor here. Oh, man. If you would have, oh, Christian Rose. May have just saved the tag team titles for Matt Cage, but here's Jay Spade now. Jay Spade doesn't care. He's got that heart set on those tag team titles. Oh, Fireman's carry here. Watch out. Oh, wait. Oh, man. Right to the abdomen. Jay Spade is hurt. Oh, close line. 
Cage with the pin. This Double could be all. One, two. Not enough. Oh my God. Fall after fall, Kevin. Joey O'Reilly wants to get back into this. Matt Cage not happy with the referee's count. And Matt Cage has got to wonder, what does he got to do to put Jay Spade away? He couldn't last time. Can he do it now? But there's a tag. Tag is made. The champs don't see it. The referee does. The referee saw the tag. Watch out. Boom! Double drop kicker. Drop kick on two guys. I don't know if you qualify that as a double drop kick or not. But Joey O'Reilly is the legal man. Matt Cage out Wait of his feet. Jay Spade. Jay Spade tagged himself into this. Oh! Oh, oh man, I think Joey's back just hit that exposed turnbuckle. It did, Chris. Oh! oh. Good shot by Cage. Jay Spade tagged himself in here, and now he's getting taken advantage of for sure. Oh, man. And they regret that. Oh. oh! That's one, two, oh. three. Tag team champions retain their titles. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners and still APW Tag Team what? Champions, All right, I, Matt Cage and oh, Christian I got to talk to Sean. Sean's right. just Team away, Overkill. APW owner Sean Chambers just came out and got my colleague Chris Hagstrom, pulled him off the table. I don't know what's going on. But uh, I can tell you this, folks, Team Overkill has retained the AAPW Tag Team Championship in a hard fought, I would say this was probably their toughest match to date here on All-American Pro Wrestling Collision. You got to hand it to the champions, though. They did what it was necessary Kill them all. to retain those belts. Jay Spade may be hurt here, tagged himself into this contest. Joey O'Reilly, though, not happy with that. Bring us a war. So it will be at Summer Chaos now. Team Overkill taking on minor threat of Brandon Espinoza and Ace Hawkins. That'll be a great contest as well as Christian Rose and Matt Cage retain and still. celebrate. Click, click, and boom. Rose says he knew it would happen. He knew it would go that way. Team Triple X, though, now left in the ring and uh, not happy about what happened here, what just transpired. I have him! He just me out of the ring! No, you tagged me! You were going to kick him in the face! You went ahead and shoved me out of the ring! No, he was... Oh, come on! Seriously, you shoved me on out! I was right there and he hit me! And I fell off! I know you tagged him, but I had him won! We can be tag team champions! I... I... Did you just listen to me? No! I don't want to listen! You're the one who pushed me out of the ring! Come on now, stay back! Live wire, live wire, live wire, the heavyweight title against Mike Masters. 